Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Book of Genesis, part of the Christ Honor and Commentary series, written by my pastor, Brother James W. Knox, and this is the cover of the old book. This is the second printing, and it was first printed in 2004, and this was the second printing in 2005, and this is a devotional type of commentary. Where Brother James has different outlines and topics for each day of the year from the Book of Genesis, and we've come to this 22nd day of the month and it's titled a note on youthful folly and so uh, before we get started on all that I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ who is the lamb of god which taketh away the sin of the world and he too can be your lord and savior day if he's not already and that's the most important thing you can ever do is trust jesus believe on him and he'll wash away all your sin with his holy precious blood and give you eternal life and then the Holy Spirit comes and dwells inside of you, and he will guide you and direct you and teach you and lead you in all truth as you desire to live for him and have a good, solid relationship with God the Father and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit and uh, all that. So, amen for that. So, hope you trust him today. And if you have already trusted him, hope you're living for him and learning to uh, go to him in prayer and talk to him about everything, as Brother James has been teaching on uh, this last uh, uh couple weeks here on this topic of the prayer closet and the messages from yesterday were really good especially the evening uh, one um, so check those out and i'll give you all that information at the end of the broadcast so um, let's go ahead now and get into this topic for today for this 22nd day of july titled a note on youthful folly and brother james writes here he says many times in my early christian life i was guilty of believing far more of the Bible than I was entitled to, he says. Oh, don't get me wrong. Every word of the Lord is the truth. That is not my meaning, but every true word of the Lord is not meant for me, right? And uh, so and that goes for each and every one of us. <clears throat> and he continues on, he says, as a young man, I planted a garden, walked about it quoting and claiming the blessings of the former and latter rain fruitful fields and other wonderful promises the nation of israel um, during the coming millennial age to no avail and he continues on and says i once went to a car lot part uh, picked out a vehicle and told the salesman the lord had need of it <laughs> i remember him telling that story a few times in the, the messages there uh, so he did that also and it says it worked for the disciples with the ass, but not for me. As a pastor, I try to be very patient with those whose youthful zeal makes them a little too free in standing on the promises. He continues on. In my mind, these lambs are much better off than the grumpy old sheep who won't lay claim to any portion of Scripture. <laughs> right? Uh, these comments are made here because I want you to know that pilling white strakes in poplar bark and laying them in the uh, feed and water troughs uh, when the best cattle come to eat will not make them breed. How do I know? Well, I tried it, of course, he says. I even separated my two grizzled heifers from the one of solid color and tried the experiment, but plainly it was meant as a special blessing for Jacob. In fact, all that came of it was that the cattle got angry with the rods in their way, and my wife shook her head and thought, not for the first time, that I was crazy. Hey, it was worth a try, Brother James uh, says here. May God grant that I live out my days trusting in and experimenting with his word and encouraging others to do the same. I have no fear of being rebuked at the judgment seat for having too much faith in the living words of our living God. And he concludes with this. He says, Someday I'll tell you about the time I tried to walk across the pond. Oh, never heard that one before. <laughs> well, hopefully he'll, he'll uh, tell us that one day. Hmm. So, all right, I'm going to have to ask him about that one. He's like, hey, Brother James, uh, can you tell me about that time you tried to walk across the pond? Hmm, all right, so 
All right, so that was a little testimony from Brother James there on a note of youth, on youthful folly and uh, all that. So pretty interesting there. I like when Brother James writes things about uh, his life and things he tried and, and stories that he tells us uh, during church services and during the class time and stuff. So, And that's just many, many of them. So I'm sure you probably heard some more. All right, so that's it for today's uh, topic, and tomorrow is the 23rd, and here we have this topic on Jacob prepares to leave Laban, so that'll be tomorrow, and then on the 24th, we have this topic on the images, and then on the 25th is typical lessons from Laban, and we'll be starting Genesis 31, and we'll read that in its entirety um, there on the 25th, so and that's... Uh, will be the um, topics for the next few days. So, amen. All right. So, that's it for today. And uh, that is from the book of Genesis by Brother James. And so, you can get a um, um, PDF file of this uh, book. I'm not sure if it's in book format right now, but it will be, again, one day, uh, Lord willing, soon, in a different type of format, a chapter-by-chapter, verse-by-verse commentary. And maybe he'll be putting these... Uh, topics in that new book there we'll see when it comes out whenever that may be so and you can find most of brother james's books online at www.jameswnox.org or type in or go i should say go straight to the store part of the website which is store.jameswnox.org and look up the books that way and other material including preaching and teaching god's word and that includes the messages that i was just speaking about at the beginning of the broadcast on the prayer closet so check those out over the last uh two weeks um i started he started last sunday on those and uh so i think it's been about six messages all together so far so you can check those out including the ones done this weekend but i encourage you to watch them in order and so and he's got many more coming up in the next few weeks so i'm uh, looking forward to the rest of those and um the youtube channel for the church is uh, james knox sermons youtube channel to look up the video uh, presentations of all the sermons, past and present. And uh, so that's that information. And then uh, for the broadcasts that I do, this one and the Baptist Bread broadcast, the Baptist Bread and Scripture Song broadcast, I should say, are either on the Facebook or YouTube channel. And the YouTube channel is Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting, or you can type in Baptist Bread Broadcast and look me up that way and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting these up. Uh, this one and the uh, Baptist Spread, which I do live on Facebook, and then upload it to the YouTube channel. And if you missed any of these broadcasts, um, these past ones, you're welcome to go and watch them. And it might be easier to watch them on YouTube. That way you can find them easier instead of having to scroll down through the Facebook page or be friends with me on Facebook. So uh, whatever, however you want to do it, that's uh, up to you. So um, so that's that. Uh, there's the book and um, then the Bible. I'll mention the Bible here, and this is the King James Bible, the Word of God, and this is the first book we need to be getting into and reading it and studying it and showing thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth and going to God in prayer and seeking his face and asking him to guide and direct you in all truth as you're living for him and having a good solid relationship with the Lord and talking to him and all that. So that's the Bible there. Amen. All right, well, that'll be about it for today. So thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you. Until next time, bye-bye for now.